Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee, and thank you for joining me today. Today, we're going to talk about the Roto Shoulder Holster with Counterbalance from my friends over at Falco Holsters. Now, you saw this holster before when I did the first five. It's been a while since you've seen that video because, well, I've been working with these holsters. Now it's time to get down to the meat of things, and let's talk about what I think about this holster. Now, shoulder holsters, well... There's something different, right? I mean, the whole idea is, is that you can put a jacket on and it's a little easier to get to your gun. Now you can either draw up or draw out. It just depends on which shoulder holster you bought. Now the Roto does something a little different. Instead of drawing up or drawing out, when you pull the snap, it actually rotates down. Let me show you. So right here you have the safety, which also goes around your trigger guard. When that goes down, the holster rotates. Now this gun is unloaded and the magazines I have are unloaded as well. But when you do that, now you can do your draw. And when you're done, you put it back and then snap it in. Everything is locked in place. Now over on the other side here, we have our extra magazines here and that's the counterbalance. So that way you have some weight on the other side. Now, I have two mags in there. You can see I have both mags into this pouch. And the one thing I do find is getting to that back magazine is a little more difficult than I'd want. I'd like to see this thing maybe canted a little forward. And maybe that draw is a little bit easier on those magazines. It's not awful, but it could be just a little bit better. Now for materials, this thing is really made out of some nice leather. Now you can see these straps here. They are super soft and super flexible. This makes this really a comfortable shoulder holster. Now if I turn around, you can see how that just connects into the back. It's a really simple holster design. I mean, shoulder holsters are not really complicated, mostly just working out those straps. Now, right here, you can see it connects into my belt. Now I have this a little bit looser just because I'm showing it off. If I show you here, you can see where it normally would be. But again, I have it a little bit loose. That way I can show it off here because I'm gonna have to do some moving around and stuff like that and get into some funky positions just to show you this stuff. Now, when I was playing with this at the range, the thing worked great. Now, I still have some work to do with this because it's summertime. And it's a little hard to conceal my firearm well, with a shoulder holster in the summertime. Especially when, well, yesterday was 100 degrees. Today it's going to be in the high 90s. I don't want to do this in the summertime. But I have been wearing this in the studio here as I've been working. Just getting used to it. And it doesn't take long to get used to. These straps are really comfortable. They're nice and soft. The holster is really kind of stiff. So you do need to break this holster in for your firearm. It's not a hard thing to do. Just remember that you're not going to be ready to go immediately. It's going to take you a few days of just seasoning the leather, getting it ready for your, for your gun and for your magazines. Now I like that this is kind of like a hybrid between a vertical and a horizontal. You know, right here it's a vertical, but when you pull that strap, it kind of goes horizontal. It doesn't go all the way horizontal because if it came all the way down, it would have to go up a little higher into your armpit area to get that draw. But since it's on almost like a 45, my hand is right there. So it's a really, really nice draw for a shoulder holster that's not, you know, awkward. So as you can see, pull, and then I would draw. Now, this holster did go through the flood here in the studio. Um, it was in my range bag, and the range bag was on the floor, and it took a few days to dry out. And that's the one thing is now I'm reseasoning the holster because, well, everything is a little tighter than it was. It was drawing a lot easier before. 
Now I'm back to reseasoning this holster, but it's not that big of a deal. It's going to happen. There's a couple of other holsters I'm reseasoning as well because of that flood. I mean, these, this thing was soaked. It completely sucked up a lot of water, but yet even after it sucked up a lot of water, it's still nice and soft. That wasn't salt water it was sitting in. Obviously your body sweat is going to be salty, but we'll see long term. Let's hear you down in the comments below. What do you think about shoulder holsters in general? But yet something like this, where it actually rotates down to get your hand in the right position. I really, really am liking this holster, even though I haven't worn it outside the house. I have at least worn it inside the studio and I've gotten used to it. And uh, it didn't take me very long to get used to it. Really liking the leather work that Falco has done. They're really good at doing this stuff. Now remember, these things are handmade. They're not made by a machine. They're made by a human. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and look forward to seeing you again soon.